Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use count in MySQL query. So the count gives us uh, the count of the records uh, in the table, um, but there are some different scenarios we need to take a look uh, with the count, uh, how exactly this function will behave. Now what I have here, uh, I have a customer table with some of the columns and I have inserted uh, some records. Uh, I'm going to show you the data so you will understand the data set first. Uh, so when we run the counts, uh, so you see what exactly is happening. Uh, here I have first name column with the, one of the values null and the other values armor and other values armor and another values armor one so we have null and two duplicate values and then one value that's a different value from these one values okay so now if I would like to get the count of records from the table that's very simple query so I can use a select count asterisk from table so in my case is customer and uh, this is how it is and I will run this query and it will return me four record they, that totally makes sense we have a four records and it's telling us you have a four records but now if I would like to take a count of the values from the first name so I can do that as well so I will say select count and I will provide the name of the column here I'm saying first name and from customer so instead there are four values we can see that but uh, count uh, ignores uh, the null value so it is going to return us uh, the count is uh, going to be returning us a three so you can see that uh, here so that can be kind of misleading sometime in case uh, if you don't remember it oh okay count uh, ignores uh, uh, the null value even uh, the, if you uh, really remember that uh, uh, this is part of the row, right? So uh, this value is there, and uh, if uh, you are taking this count and considering that it will give you return, uh, re the first name count will return you the row count. That's not really true. So you have to consider if your column value has a null value, it's going to ignore that in the count. Okay, how we can uh, tackle that if really we want to uh, handle that and use it? You can use uh, if null. Um, that function use if null function and if first name is a uh, null then I'm replacing with the uh, some blank space um, instead of null blank you can write anything maybe you can write ABC whatever you want to write so now whenever it find uh, the null value in the first name it will replace with this value and then when we take the count on top of it it will return us uh, the value okay now it return four so just uh, in case that uh, these are scenarios where you have to deal with the null values and you still you want to consider the value um, uh, you want to consider null as a one uh, you can do those kind of thing but uh, count uh, will ignore the null values just remember that okay now also what we see here we can uh, get the distinct counter so you, if I would like to get the distinct counter uh, the records in this uh, column I can do that so I have a uh, uh, select count distinct column list whatever you want here I'm using only first name so you see that uh, we first uh, name has two duplicate values and uh, also we already know that it's going to ignore the null so there are three values so with when we say distinct so that means that these will be considered one value different value from each other so these values will consider one and armor one is one so it should return us uh, two okay let's run that and we send, see that right there okay so if I want to say a distinct last name so now I am considering multiple columns so you see that uh, it returns us three and you see that Amir Naz as together first name and last name is different from Amir Shahzad so when uh, you have multiple columns here we got uh, more records but they are distinct by first name and last name they are different by first name and last name so you can see that right here so these are three different names by first name and last name together from each other okay so this is how you will use a counter to get the record count from the table or see the different values uh, counts for the columns and I hope this video will help go ahead and subscribe if you like my effort and I will see you guys in next video